Okay, so question four is when we start looking at our functions. So let's jump right into question 4.1. It says, given the exponential function g of x is equal to a half to the power of x, 4.1, write down the range of g. Okay, so you guys should know that this thing can never equal zero. A half raised to the power of anything will never, ever, ever equal zero. We don't have a constant there. If we had a constant, it would change the asymptote. But here, the asymptote is the x-axis. So y, because it's positive, y will lie above the x-axis. So the range is y anything greater than zero. You could also say y is an element of round bracket because zero will not be touched and infinity because zero, I mean, infinity will not be touched as well. 4.2 says determine the equation of g to the negative one in the form of y. Okay, so guys, I know that you've been drawn to know that a to the negative one is equal to one over a. And that's how some people would do it. They would say one over g of x. That is wrong, guys. Whenever you need to find the inverse of a function, g to the negative one of x, you don't put one over. You're not finding the reciprocal. You are finding the inverse, which is that reflection over the line y equals x. So what do you do? You swap y and x and you solve for y. Okay, so the original function was y equals half to the power of x. Okay, so if you want to swap, if you want to find the inverse, you need to swap. So you'll say x is equal to one half to the power of y. And now you need to get it in the form y equals. Okay, so you know that you say the exponent is equal to log of the same base that we had there and x. Okay, easy peasy. 4.3 says, is this equation here a function? Justify your answer. Of course it's a function, guys. The log function is a function. And the reason is for every x value, there is one unique y value. Okay, it is a one-to-one -one function.